Hey everyone, I'm Paige. I'm a family nurse practitioner and an NP instructor with SMNP Reviews. Today, let's talk about Erickson stages of psychosocial development. I would know the basics of this topic for either exam, but especially if you are taking the ANCC exam, as you can expect around 30% of your exam to be non-clinical or professional role type content. Today we'll hit the highlights and you can find a more in-depth and detailed review of professional role topics within our courses. Be sure to subscribe to our SMNP Reviews YouTube channel also. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here are all the stages in appropriate order. The key is to be able to match these stages to the approximate age that they would apply to. That basic level of information should get you through any question that might pop up on this topic. So first up, we have trust versus mistrust. So think babies for this one, from birth to around one year of age. If an infant receives loving and attentive care from their caregivers, trust is born. If their basic needs are not met, on the other hand, think feeding, love, diapering, then mistrust and insecurity will develop. Next up, we have autonomy versus shame and doubt. This is from about one to three years old. Anyone who's been around a toddler knows that toddlers want to practice being independent and assert their autonomy whenever they can. Next up, we have initiative versus guilt. So this stage applies primarily to preschoolers. So think from about the ages of three to six years old. During this period, children are able to create, explore, they direct their own play, and they also build a sense of confidence and pride in themselves. All of these behaviors help to build up a sense of purpose, identity, and confidence in that child. Then we're going to have industry versus inferiority. So this stage spans from about 6 to 12 years old, so think school age children in this stage. And most children are stepping outside of the home and into school and other social settings like sports and friendship groups where they're going to be learning new skills and developing confidence in their abilities. So next is identity versus role confusion. So this occurs around the ages of 12 to 18 years old. This is such an important stage. Teenagers are figuring out who they are, their beliefs, their values, and what their life goals really are. Intimacy versus isolation is the next stage we'll look at. So for this one, think young adulthood, ages 18 to 40. This is really the pairing off stage of life in which young people commit to intimate relationships and also friendships. Next up, we have generativity versus stagnation, which is middle adulthood, so ages 40 to 65. Middle-aged adults tend to be focused on raising children and contributing to society and also reaching their career goals and also caring for the next generation at this time. It's not uncommon for adults to shift their focus to giving back to society and meeting personal goals and interests. And what is our final stage of Erickson's theory? We have the stage of integrity versus despair. So this takes place in late adulthood. So think ages 65 and onward. In this stage, older adults reflect on their lives and their accomplishments. And there you have it. So these stages, they're not linear. A person may not resolve everything at a certain stage and may even revisit a stage later to work through some difficulties of that stage. This theory reinforces the importance of the experiences that we all have in early childhood with five of these eight stages occurring before adulthood. As I wrap this video up, I would love to invite you all to check out our courses and also our QBank for more in-depth information on this topic, as well as many, many others. We've got a great mnemonic within our courses to help you remember the Erickson stages in the correct order. Also, we've got an incredible community of learners who are studying together and cheering each other on in our Facebook group. Join our community, which is going to be linked below for an extra level of support. Here is my reference if you want more information on this topic. Thanks for joining today. For your exams, keep it simple. Focus on the challenges that you would expect each age group to face and common difficulties that you would expect at each stage of life. Happy studying!